Good morning, welcome to Renew. My name is Alicia and I'm a part of the teen ministry at Mainland Baptist Church. And today's devotion is entitled Learning Contentment and we will be reading from Philippians 4, 10 through 12. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again wherein you were also careful but ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know both you have to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. The difference between those who are content and those who are not has nothing to do with how much they have. There are millions of people with very little who are content and millions of others who have a great deal but are never satisfied. No amount of increase in possessions can provide true contentment, for no matter how much we have, a love for more can never be fully satisfied. Solomon had great wealth and power, but he recognized their ultimate emptiness and lack of ability to provide great contentment writing. He that loveth silver shall not be satisfied with silver, nor he that loveth abundance with increase. This is also vanity. Ecclesiastes 5.10 The world around us measures us success in terms of houses and bank accounts and retirement funds but god looks at the heart and not the balance sheet he knows that we can only be true content if we rest in him this is why he calls us to contentment not to take away good things from us but to guard us against the snares of longing for more the christian who has god can always be content regardless of what he has or lacks god alone is always enough john bunyan wrote he that is down needs fear no fall he that is low no pride he that is humble ever shall have god to be his god i am content with what i have little be it or much and lord contentment still i crave because thou savest such let's pray dear lord thank you for this day thank you for letting us be able to um join together on this renew and i pray that we have a good rest of our week and we thank you for just giving us all these opportunities to serve you and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us on this renewal today.